Subscribe to your own state gardening magazine. Simply visit sbsmags.com and click on one of the 21 states where we publish a magazine to subscribe today or for faster service, call 888-265-3600. Poison ivy is a plant that just about all gardeners here in the southern United States are going to encounter at some point or another. And there is oftentimes a lot of confusion as to what exactly poison ivy looks like and how you tell it from other non-poisonous plants that you're going to run into. So come on back and we'll show you how to distinguish poison ivy from other native plants. So we'll start by looking at poison ivy itself first and then we'll go on to compare that to some other plants. Um, this is poison ivy. Poison ivy is actually a member of the cashew family. So if you enjoy cashew nuts, uh, poison ivy is a close relative of cashew nuts. And it is a woody vine. And as you can see, the leaves are actually divided up into leaflets. And I'm wearing vinyl gloves as I handle this. This is actually one leaf. And poison ivy will have one, two, three, leaflets, which we often call leaves. And if you look at how the leaves are attached to the stem, you'll see that they actually alternate up the stem. And that's one way to distinguish poison ivy from a lot of other things. Also, poison ivy does actually flower. The flowers are tiny, they're white, and if the flowers get pollinated, we'll see little white berries form right here where the flowers were uh, later on in the season. So now that we know what poison ivy itself looks like, let's look at some imposters. And these are plants that are going to, in some way or another, resemble poison ivy and in fact often get misidentified for poison ivy. First one we want to look at is actually a grapevine that, upon closer inspection, doesn't look anything like poison ivy. And here's why. If you look at the leaves, first of all, the leaves are simple. They're not compound like poison ivy and you'll see these modified leaves called tendrils that wrap around whatever structure the vine is growing on and literally pull the vine up. Um, and so this is wild grape, this is called pepper vine. And it looks a lot like poison ivy except the leaves are actually ternately compound instead of trifoliate like on poison ivy. And you also have the tendrils on the other side. That's because this plant is also in the grape family. Uh, this is called pepper vine. Its botanical name is Ampelopsis arborea, and it's probably the most commonly misidentified vine as poison ivy in the southeastern United States. Two more poison ivy imposters that you might encounter in your home garden are the real ivy, which is actually a member of the sarsaparilla family. Its botanical name is Hedera helix, and it has not a compound leaf, but a very lobed leaf. And at first glance, it's easy to see how that could be mistaken for a leaflet of poison ivy. Another imposter is common blackberry. Now you might say, how could you ever mistake blackberry for poison ivy? But it will often grow with poison ivy. And it is a palmately compound leaf like Virginia creeper, uh, but an easy way to distinguish blackberry from poison ivy instantly is the presence of little thorns all along the stem. So be careful where you grab it. This is actually a tree called box elder. It's very closely related to maples. And it has a pinnately compound leaf, but the newer leaves, if you look closely, are actually trifoliate like poison ivy. Like every other maple, however, the leaves are oppositely arranged along a stem. This is also called box elder, and you usually find this plant growing along creek banks or around disturbed home sites. And a lot of people don't touch it because of its close resemblance to poison ivy. But let me show you something. Let's take a branch of box elder and hold it down to some real poison ivy and let you make the comparison. So that's how you distinguish poison ivy from a lot of non-toxic lookalikes. So be careful out there. And here's hoping your itch to get outside is coming from a good place. For State by State Gardening, I'm Kerry Hefner.
Subscribe to your own state gardening magazine. Simply visit sbsmags.com and click on one of the 21 states where we publish a magazine to subscribe today or for faster service, call 888-265-3600.